Now in this question, we are given a definite integral and it says if a belongs to minus infinite to 0 and 1 to infinite, then which of the following statement is or not true? Now clearly looking at this, we have log x to the power 3 by 2 and then we have log x to the power 1 by 2 and 1 upon x. So what we'll do is we'll let a minus log x to the power 3 by 2 as some t. Now we'll get minus 3 by 2 log x to the power 1 by 2 into 1 by x dx as dt. So we can write this integral as this integral now log x to the power 1 by 2 upon x dx it will be minus 2 by 3 dt so it will be this minus 2 by 3 dt and here it will be this t square and we have to find these limits now if we put x as 1 log 1 is 0 so lower limit is a and we put x as e it will be a minus 1 and this is equal to 1 so it will be this minus 2 by 3 and integration of 1 upon t square is minus 1 upon t from a to a minus 1 and it will be equal to 1. Now this is 2 by 3 and this is 1 upon a minus 1 minus 1 upon a and it is equal to 1. Now this will be 3a into a minus 1 equals 2 or 3a square minus 3a minus 2 equals 0. So value of a is 3 plus minus under root of 9 plus 24 by 6 which is 3 plus minus under root 33 by 6. So we have a 3 minus under root 33 by 6 and a 3 plus under root 33 by 6. Now under root 33 it is greater than 5 so this value will be negative it will lie in this interval so this value is accepted. And 3 plus under root 33, again under root 33 is greater than 3. So this value is greater than 1. So this positive value will lie in this interval. So both of these, they are solution to this equation. So answer to this question is, an irrational number A satisfies the above equation. Option C, more than 1 A satisfy the above equation. So option D, so the correct options are C and D. And there is no integer A satisfying this equation.